Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I would like to start out a little differently today because I know you have a pulse on where we're going in the planet and what's happening and I think a lot of people have questions about what is going on? Why does everything seem so topsy-turvy? Where are we moving towards, and what's happening? <laughs> okay. Well, the last year has been an absolutely um, roller coaster ride, is all I can say. Um, back last June, I discovered an energy shield around the planet and an isolation grid that literally kept humankind from being under divine law and kept us all enslaved. We spent months, uh, I, I created a group of, of uh, like-minded people. We spent months working on bringing these down. And when it was complete, I literally started finding cages all over the earth where what I would call the Whoa. miscreated dark had mm -hmm. claimed massive territories as their own. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it was amazing. The very first one I found was a two-kilometer cage associated with a house uh, at a place where Apparently, literally, the Nazis rounded up everyone in the mm. Netherlands outside of this home. Mm. And that very same day, the last session of the day, was a five-kilometer cage in Austria uh, where the woman told me it was the location where the Nazis uh, actually invaded uh, Austria. And then we got partway through the clearing when she went, oh, yeah, I forgot. In that same five-kilometer area that we're clearing is Hitler's bunker. I mean, you can't make these things up. It's just been a wild, wild year. <laughs> I know a lot of people might be saying, what in the world are we talking about? And I <laughs> want to share that this is something I've been researching, and I've actually heard from many people like you about an energy grid. We could call it like a frequency fence. Uh, mm -hmm. Some may call it the draconian energy grid on the planet uh, that is sort of holding down our energy as human beings mm -hmm. and so this gets kind of out there but here's the thing whether you understand it or not i'm sure we all want to live truly as we were meant to be and you know you go to certain places you go to certain cities you get under certain electromagnetic fields and you don't feel as good as when you're maybe atop a mountain or in a place where you feel alive and connected to all that is so these things can shift our life and and let's talk a little more about that because when you say there's this uh, set of frequencies or these shields or these fields holding people at a certain frequency what does that look like in someone's life i mean what would be the effect of that that someone could say okay i'm not really feeling as open or free or as good as i could well what we found with these particular cages was um they presented in a very, very unique way. Uh, mm. There was a the people that were living in these houses that were in these energy frequencies. Uh, a lot of the the first group I found had a lot of autoimmune diseases, oh. uh, things like uh, chronic fatigue, uh, fibromyalgia, things like that. What was fascinating is when you looked at the body, it literally looked like there was grid work inside of their body uh, that we needed to clear out. And when we were able to clear out these grid works, you know, people could start to feel the release, and and um, it, it was phenomenal. And this might also explain why, you know, it's been hard for medical science to really understand the, the sources of some of these things is because it's not – it's on a genetic. It's not on a genetic level. It's on an etheric level uh, that these things are happening. The second group I found were a group of people that were um, depressed uh, to to the point of uh, suicide, uh, and then another group I found 
uh, were were the people that were addicted, and we're talking serious addictions. Mm. You know, the the um, uh, the opioids and the meth, and you know, uh, serious alcoholic. Uh, and these were the t- types of things that were happening. And, t- and for some of these people, they didn't start experiencing these things until they moved into these homes and into these houses. And it, it was really it, it was really quite phenomenal to see. Uh, how how just moving into this different energy can mm. affect everything. I'm going to connect into the audience because this is going to be one of those mind blowing sessions. We open up a lot of new truths and mm-hmm. truths. So, what questions do y'all have? Are y'all hearing this? And what question do you have about how all of this could work? So, keep the questions coming. We want to make this about you. And and Peg, you've got a lot of skills in many different areas. And if I could condense it down, it's really about allowing humanity to live in its true truth and divine template. How did your story begin? Give us the short story, and then we'll keep jumping in with some new tidbits here. Absolutely. It started with my very first weird house. Um, My best friend was Native American. She kept telling me there was something wrong. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to believe her. I kept saying, yeah, 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 that's your belief system. I mean, that's what my brain was saying. I never said it out sure. loud. Um, but then when, um, when when we rented the house out, uh, while we, we went out of state, and a person in the house, luckily not in the house, got murdered uh, in a very, very gruesome manner, um, and and then the next person that moved in literally got pushed down the stairs by an entity that was in the house. And, and she told me, she says, you're not going to believe me. And by mm. this time I was like, oh, my gosh, I guess I better believe her and my best friend. And so that's when, when you know, it started. And I I just I had to, I had to learn just for myself uh, and because I went from one weird house to the next. Um, because when we tried to clear that first house, it, it was what I call the ceremony that went bad. And that literally left me terrified for years about the idea of even cleansing houses um, because I knew what could go terribly wrong. And uh, this is not an area you just you know delve into lightly. Uh, but when it became obvious this is what I needed to do, I made, I made new agreements with my masters and guides, and I said, okay, I don't want to have to go down to those depths of despair. I want to do it with love. I want to do it with laughter. I want to not be afraid, and I really want some some really good, powerful clearing because it needs to happen, and boy, did they open up the doors. <laughs> wow. You've also looked at people's energy fields. I know you're going to do it on today's call. How does that tie in? We, we open up talking a little bit about core wounds, mm-hmm. and now we're talking a little bit about some of the uh, patterns on the planet and grids and and things like this sort. How does it all fit together? It it's or all it? energy. It is okay. all energy. And you know, part of what happened. Uh, you know, we'll just start on the planetary real quick and then then dive down into the Please. into the personal. But on a planetary level, we all expected more of a shift back in solstice of 2012. Uh, you know, we were you know we had the the end of, you know, the, the quote-unquote Mayan calendar, and, you know, we all expected a shift. But because of the the, the energy grid and, and all of that that was keeping the two Earths, um, uh, what I call, you know, the, the divine new Earth and then the old Earth, which I ta- refer to as Gaia in my own terminology, uh, the two were, were shackled together. And so until we got the two... Uh, split apart, which really didn't happen uh, until this solstice. So it was like there was a five-year delay. So we've sort of been in a holding pattern. But now, now that we have had solstice, we are on a rocket ship uh, uh, in, in terms of moving forward. And we are at this incredible gateway with tomorrow being the equinox and, and some decision points. And, you know, which earth are you going to, you know, really truly oh, be on? So that's that's uh, that's what's going on planetarily. Did you want to ask anything about that? Well, uh, no. I think I think that shows us kind of like this paradigm is opened up. And mm-hmm. what I'd like to figure out now is how can we maximize this? Because there are folks, I guess, right now on the line who are saying, "This is great. I've heard this over and over again, but I'm still facing the same challenge." And one of the things right. that's coming up a lot is this idea of generational. Mm-hmm. generational wounds, generational trauma, generational abundance patterns that aren't 
even if the person's doing a lot of self-work and soul-searching, just aren't loosening their grip. Tell me right. about that. Okay, well, we're uh, we're in, in, in the middle of this shift between, you know, the old 3D reality and the 5D reality, and so sometimes um, our old 3D language uh, is what we need to use to describe what's going on. Um, and, you know, in my vocabulary, the core wounds are actually a wound to our potential. And um, the majority of, of people have, uh, you know, a, a, a the, the personal core wounds, but everybody also has what I call the collective core wound. It's the wound to our potential as a collective. And, um, I see. Yeah, yes. and in order to embrace you know, this divine new earth, we need to recognize these wounds to our potential and because they affect us in, in a massive, in such a variety of way. In, in reality, it is your biggest challenge because these wounds are held within your body and they influence every aspect of your life. Every challenge can literally be traced back to, to one of these wounds and not clearing them it creates the cycle of issues, and, and that is the, the, the cycle that we have, we're on in terms of the 3D Earth, is, is addressing one, and then another one pops up, addressing another one, and another pops up, and that cycle leads to stress and burnout, and um, that's another issue that I, I work with is stress and burnout and helping people to, to get and move through that. Um, but these wounds literally keep you in those old 3D contracts of, of struggle and confusion. And that's why it's so important to clear them. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna to get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one, -on -one, live, on the phone, and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.